That's a big question. What do teachers need to know about getting started with STEM? And I think we could think about that in two ways. We could look at STEM generally, or we could look at robotics and using technology to enhance STEM. I'm going to focus on the second one. <laughs> I think there's lots of great readings on how to get started in STEM generally, and I'll leave that to my colleagues who have done some good work in that area. When we think about STEM and robotics, it's really common for teachers to be anxious about that. It's very common for them to be scared of the robot. The children might break it, or I don't know how to program that toy. For me, the key with this is that we want the children and the teachers to feel free to learn together. Those co-investigated moments where you are really learning with your children are empowering. It takes the power um, and shares it with your learners and creates a sense of learning community. Because often as teachers, we think we have to know everything. Whereas here, we've got an opportunity to learn with our children. If you're still unsure about that or you don't feel confident with jumping in that way, then a great way to do any robotics project is to just do a quick Google. Every form of robotic kit for children, whether it's Lego We Do or BeeBots or ProBots or Roma or Primo or oh, all of these devices, every one of those tools gives help, help lessons, gives videos, how-to tutorials. And Google is your friend in that sense because it gives you that opportunity to go on and have a play, see what other teachers are doing and practice in that way. I think the most important thing for me for teachers beginning in this area is there's no right or wrong answer. It's about dipping your toe in the water and having a try. If it doesn't work the first lesson, try again the next time round. And don't be afraid to uh, just let the children explore because you'll make amazing discoveries as a community of learners in that way.